And, and Bill, just talking about that, where the vehicle positioning, we're actually, there's a wide load, uh, pilot vehicle, I can see ahead. So there's a wide load that must be coming down yes. the mountain. Presumably, um, the pilot vehicle will radio on channel 40 widths. Typically, they'll broadcast a width. Yes. So can you tell me about heading up the Cunningham's Gap, what trucks can do when they're approaching a, a wide load? Yeah, so when you come up a wide load, yeah, they will be on channel 40, and they will communicate really, really well what's going on, and they will be slow. You know, so you get some of those, uh, like that truck that just passes now, that truck and trailer with that dump truck on the back there, like he's probably grossing around about that, you know, 70, 80 ton mark. So, yeah, you just got to be slow going down if you get catch them going down. And coming up, you keep to your left. You hear a white load coming on the radio, you keep to your left. Ask questions if you're not sure. Again, that old word communication, you got to keep that communication going. Okay, and, and so, you know, as the roadworks um, commences, the, the lanes narrow again, TMR will be working with our heavy vehicle units uh, to make sure that the widths of OSOM vehicles coming down are safe. Nonetheless, there will be some still OSO, OM um, uh, permit, permitted vehicles that will be able to come through. Um, typically that'll be around the three and a half, maybe the 3.7 metre width range, okay. uh, which still certainly means if you're in a B double coming through these corners that you really need to be very aware of your vehicle positioning um, in relation to wide loads as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, as you can see, I'm over the wide line on that side now, and the trailer's still on the centre line on this side, so yeah, you, you certainly do that one at a time vehicle, you certainly do have to swing them out a bit wider.